Hey everyone, so I finally got Android 6.0 Marshmallow on my Xperia Z5. Uh, I'm sure that most of you guys already have it by now, but it just released in the North American United States region. Um, actually not even over to air yet here, I have to use the Xperia Companion app. But I finally got it, uh, so I'm going to show you guys some of the new features. Right now I'm showing you the new boot up animation. So personally, I don't think that this update is uh, as big as the Wallipop one was, but there's still some nice new features. Uh, also some features that are missing, unfortunately, but will be returning in the future. All right, so most of the interface is very similar to Wallipop, as you can probably already tell. So let's just go into the settings. And we're going to scroll down to the bottom, go to About Phone. So you see here it is Android version 6.0, not 6.0.1. So like all Android versions, if you keep tapping on here, you'll pull up a game. Uh, on this one, it's similar to the one on Lollipop. So you're going to tap on this, hold down on it, and it's going to bring up a Flappy Birds clone. So Lollipop had a game really similar to this, but now as you can probably see, you got marshmallows and a few other different features on it, but fun time, uh, fun time waster. And really difficult in my opinion, a lot harder than Flappy Birds. Let me see if I can get one. I won't waste too much of you guys' time here. Alright, one. Alright, good enough. So, let me just go back into the menu there. Uh, so yeah, you got the February security patch level uh, updated for February 2016. Now, probably the big feature on this is if you go into the applications, uh, you now get, you're now able to set all your permissions for the apps. So I'll show you what I mean in a second. Uh, so let's just say for Chrome, if I want to set individual permissions for individual things like the camera, uh, if I don't want Chrome accessing camera, I can just turn it off like that. So that's a nice feature. Now you can uh, customize everything for the apps. Now you see under quick settings, you got the do not disturb mode at the bottom. When you go into your applications, you can slide down from anywhere and then it's going to bring up the search. Then if you go into your settings on the home page, you just hold down on the home page and then click on settings. Now you see here with effects, you have some new transitions that you can use. So right now I just have it on flat. But let's say if I want to do windmill. So I'm going to apply that. Nice, probably saw there it's animations like a windmill. So those are all new. Just gonna set this back. Actually, I'll, I'll show you guys another one. So this is the flow. And concave. So there's also some other smaller features such as native fingerprint support um, using Google system rather than Xperia's. And so that'll be probably helpful I think in the future when things like Android Pay are more common. Now a feature that Sony's got rid of that I know a lot of you guys are upset about is the stamina mode. Um, but Google does have a new doze mode in Marshmallow. So across all the Marshmallow devices they have this new mode called doze mode. And it's very similar to stamina mode so that's why Sony got rid of it. Uh, I haven't used this enough to know if this is as effective, if this doze mode is as effective as stamina mode is. Uh, I'll try figuring it out and I'll have an updated video on this to let you guys know. But apparently stamina mode is coming back, so for those of you guys who miss it, you will be having it in a future update. And finally, um, something that I'm disappointed by, I know a lot of you guys are disappointed by also. Uh, this does not have the ability to save apps to the SD card. Uh, personally, when Marshmallow was first announced, I thought that was the best new feature to um, 
you know, especially for those of you guys who don't have much internal storage, the ability to uh, save apps onto the SD card. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, Sony decided not to include this. Uh, I know Sony's not the only one. About a lot of other manufacturers haven't included it, so that's unfortunate. Um, so personally, my thoughts on Marshmallow. I don't think that it's as big of an upgrade as Lollipop is. I don't think it's as exciting. Uh, there are some nice new features here, but it's again not a huge upgrade. But it will be testing this out a lot more. Uh, as I just said, I just downloaded it like an hour ago. So I haven't gotten that much of a chance to test it out, but I'm looking forward to testing out more of this. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments if I missed anything. Again, I'm going to be doing more research on this and I'll have a longer video. Uh, try to cover everything that there is this update. Alright guys, thanks again for watching.